For the 250th anniversary of Circus, Nell Gifford, ringmistress at Britain's retro chic Gifford's Circus, is observing the age-old maxim that the show must go on. The elaborate jeweled outfits are being stitched by hand, her magnificent cloud grey and illusion stallion, Diamond, is wild-eyed and literally chomping at the bit, and Gifford's brand new tent has been hauled up in a field near Strahd, where the 2018 tour begins on the 4th of May. A troop of Cuban tumblers are tumbling and the caravans have been painted, sanded, and painted again in a deep burgundy so polished that you can see your face in them. Circuses are big news this year. There's the 250th anniversary, the greatest showman movie starring Hugh Jackman as American impresario P.T. Barnum, and a recently released adaptation of Stephen King's scariest novel, It, featuring the terrifying clown Pennywise. But Giffords, founded in 2000 as a traditional village circus, has become famous for offering a slice of handmade, old-fashioned fun. Strongman Pozo is shifting the ringside seats, circus usherette Lizzie Glynn Jones is planning her wedding to Cuban acrobat Alfredo Fuente Avila, and Gervis Webb, a former Fleet Street hack, is up a ladder repairing a leaky roof. The Russian artist with her docks hunts is yet to arrive, and the Portuguese gymnasts and Italian acrobats are on their way, but nobody has yet got around to training the performing turkeys. Amid this chaos, Ali Hollas, the Giffords restaurant chef, has been persuaded, for the photographs, to don a terrifyingly lifelike bear outfit. Meanwhile, acclaimed theater director Calma Crystal, who once trained as a clown, is on hand to direct the 250th anniversary show, My Beautiful Circus, a celebration of jazz age glamour. It's a mad, mad world, but Nell Gifford is in her element. Nothing, not recurrence of breast cancer, a long round of chemotherapy only recently finished, a divorce she is negotiating with her circus co-founder husband, Toady, or caring for their eight-year-old twins, Red and Cecil, will stop her as she strides out across a muddy Cotswolds field to the big top. I had cancer twice. I didn't have one baby but twins. And I started a circus. My mother was right. I'm a drama queen now Gifford any other, Joss or, the name those born into the circus give to outsiders, might have been tempted to pack their bags and say goodbye to the circus, but not Gifford. The show must go on. When I was young, my mother often used to say, Nell, you are such a drama queen, and it's true. Everything I do seems to be a massive drama, Gifford admits. I've had cancer not once but twice. I didn't have one baby, I had twins. And I started my own circus. My mother was right. It's all so dramatic and full-on. The modern circus dates from 1768 when Philip Astley, a former sergeant major with the 15th Light Dragoons Regiment, set up a ring at Halfpenny Hatch in what is now Waterloo. With his wife Patty playing drum, Astley entertained crowds while perched on his mount, one foot on the saddle the other on the horse's head, all the time brandishing his sword. Later his circus moved to a site near Westminster Bridge, employed Mr. Merriman, the clown, musicians, acrobats and other performers, earned the patronage of the Prince of Wales and became the Royal Amphitheatre of Arts. Astley set up 19 other circuses in European cities including Paris, where he died in 1814. He is buried in the Pearl at Jay's Cemetery. Since then, generations have been entertained by circuses, most famously in the UK by Chipperfields, Cottles and Billy Smarts, who stopped touring in 1971 to become a television favourite, drawing audiences of up to 22 million viewers. In recent years, Yasmeen Smart, Billy's granddaughter, has been helping Nell Gifford with her equestrian skills and training the circus horses, including Diamond, which she once owned. He was my horse before but he's perfect for Nell. She has really reinvented the circus. She did it, and she keeps doing it even when she's been ill, Smart told The Observer. At the farm near Strahd, where her circus is based, Gifford can be found stomping through mud in fluorescent orange builder's trousers and a black sweatshirt. Her blonde hair, lost to the latest round of chemotherapy, is growing back but is at a thick, boyish stage, nothing that cannot be fixed with hair extensions and a fancy hat for the show. Gifford has faced worse things. Growing up in Wiltshire with her four siblings, she was 18 and had a place studying English at Oxford when her mother Charlotte, 52, fell from her horse while hunting, suffering a catastrophic brain injury. She regained consciousness but never fully recovered, living as a shadow of her former bohemian self and needing round-the-clock care for another 22 years. Nell went to New York and worked at Circus Flora, returned to study and graduate, then worked in circuses in Germany and Britain before meeting Toady and setting up Giffords. When I was really young I wanted to work as a monkey trainer. Later, I had a dream, remembered from childhood, of starting my own little circus, something magical that can appear overnight then disappear again just as suddenly. A place to go and have a really good time, she says. 
The couple bought a second-hand tent through a newspaper small ad and built a showman's wagon to live in, advertising for performers in the stage. Toady and I both put every penny we had, which wasn't a lot at the time, into the circus. But we had energy and ideas and determination. He is a farmer's son and a landscape gardener so we brought the tractor and the technical know-how, and also a touch of glamour too. Our intention was to set up a beautiful pocket village green circus, and I believe that's what it still is. It has grown, and it's now our 18th season, but it's still a traditional circus, run by a family. It's still about sawdust, velvet, curtains and burgundy wagons. It's intimate, and the tent feels packed. We want people to be able to imagine it lit by candles. She adds, the circus is my raison d'etre, I suppose. This is my job and I feel lucky to have it. The circus is very therapeutic. It's a community and a really fun way of living. Gifford believes the circus deserves to be recognized as an art form. It doesn't cost the Arts Council a penny, it doesn't need funding or support or committees. It entertains, it's culture for families, and it makes thousands of people happy. What a gift it is, she says. Cal McChrystal describes Giffords as the Glenn Bourne of Circus. It certainly has an elevated fan base, which makes its shows great for star spotting. He joined the circus seven years ago and never left. The circus is basically people spending years and years practicing to do one thing and going into the ring, saying to the crowd, look at me, look what I can do just for you. Everyone in showbiz wants one job they come home to, and for me it's Giffords. Nell is such an inspiring person to work with. So, whatever dramas are going on outside the tent, nothing stops the entertainment inside. The circus has been a great support network, especially when I've been ill, Gifford says. It's something I keep returning to, and it suits me, perhaps because it's so full-on and dramatic. When you walk into the tent, you leave your troubles at the door and celebrate. It's escapist, magical, beautiful, funny. The Gifford Circus 2018 show, My Beautiful Circus, tours from the 4th of May to the 30th of September.